Okay, number seven here in 10.3, um, it does say use scientific notation, express your answer in scientific notation. I wanted to show you um, using technology on this one. Uh, we could convert everything to scientific notation and work through it longhand, but I, I think more people are apt to use a uh, bit of technology in solving these. So let's take a look at the TI-84 here. Um, if we, we hit alpha, and then y equals key that gets us our frank fraction template because if you can see in this problem here it's, it's a little small but you should be able to see it in your note packet um, what we have here is uh, on the in the numerator, numerator we have 1.5 times uh, 0 0.009 times 20 okay then we can push the down arrow and then in the denominator we have 20 now you could have thought ahead and maybe those 20s would cancel out, but say you weren't thinking about that. You just um, enter everything in and then times uh, 600. Okay? You want to make sure you got everything entered in correctly, and um, then we come out with uh, 15 thousandths here. Okay? So it does say express your answer in scientific notation. So at this point, you know, we would want to um, maybe write down the the... 0 0.015 and then think about okay we move the decimal one uh, two spaces to the right and we'll come out with um, 1.5 times 10 to the negative second okay so um, that's uh, number seven let's take a look at number eight okay um, now number eight does again ask us to simplify using um, scientific notation and if we did uh, use scientific notation um, to do that, uh, it kind of looks like this here. Um, and I have that in your note packet for you uh, with it worked out um, in scientific notation. Okay. So, but again, we're going to look at a little technology here and see if we can uh, work through this with our TI 84. Um, so we're just going to try to type things in exactly how we see them and, and see what happens here. So we have, um, I'm going to hit clear and alpha y equals and then the in the numerator I have parenthesis and we want to just make it look exactly like it looks there 2.9 times 10 raised to here's our raised to button okay um, so we have raised to the negative fifth okay so we're going to get the negative sign in there and it's okay if it looks like that um, I don't know, I'd probably try to uh, maybe get that to look a little lower there um, and, and put it right next to it like that, okay? And then we have times uh, 116, and then on the denominator we have 2.4 times 10 raised to the fourth. I'll hit my right arrow, and times, we don't, we don't have to put the time sign in, it won't hurt anything if we do. And then we have parentheses 1.4 times 10 raised to the fourth. And then we want to end that parentheses. Okay. So it looks like I got a little extra parentheses in there. So I'm going to go back um, and I'm just going to get a teaching experience here. I can highlight that and I'm going to hit the delete key. Okay. So looks like I got everything entered in correctly. I'm going to go to the end of it and hit enter. Okay. And this is kind of what I want to show you here. Um, you know, what we get here is a kind of a weird looking thing. Um, and it is scientific notation. You can think about this, this E right here. You could replace that with times 10 to the negative 11th power. Okay. So it does say round your answer to the nearest thousands. Okay. So if we look at this, um, tens, hundreds, thousands. So we're going to round to that right there that uh this spot and and we look over and it's a one so we're going to keep it at one so we'll have uh 1.001 times 10 to the negative 11th okay see how that looks on your calculator and then how it looks uh for our answer okay and then the last one here um i'll, I'll write it out longhand but we'll use the technology to solve it um it talks about uh, we have some uh, grams for uh, 
an atom of gold, okay? So an atom of gold has a mass of this, and then we have 8,000 of those. So what we would do is we do 3.5 times 10 to the negative 22nd times 8 point zero times 10 to the third okay so that's how it would look if we were doing it in scientific notation um, if I work through this in scientific notation I multiply those front numbers together and I get 26 times 10 to the negative 19th okay now a lot of students stop here um, you know but they would get the incorrect answer because it says express your answer in scientific notation. So what I'd have to do is think, okay, I need to move my decimal that way, one space. That's a positive one movement. And what I end up with is 2.6 times 10 to the negative 18th. A little tricky there with, um, like I, I joke around and call this fake scientific notation. It looks like scientific notation, but it's not quite. So this uh, is scientific notation. Um, you know, if you use your calculator, uh, you would take um, 3.25 times 10 to the negative 22nd times 8,000. And what we get is 2.6 times 10 to the negative 18th. See that? 2.6 times 10 to the negative 18th. Just what we got by doing the longhand. Okay? So that's all we're going to do with scientific notation, at least for my videos. But there's plenty of videos out there on Hawks or on YouTube. So good luck with that. And that wraps up 10.3.